Benja Cafe anyway. <laughs> Mike's Daily Podcast. It's so good to be with you here on this wonderful day at Cafe anyway. I'm using a different microphone. If you didn't notice that, maybe you did. Mike's Daily Podcast. I'm in a different part of Cafe anyway with a different microphone. And this is exciting. I'm going to do this thing that's called singing. And it's uh, F- episode 2000. 516 I think that's right If I'm not right, don't be mean Dopamine It's Mike Mike's Daily Podcast Yes, we are trying to be daily We've been daily for a couple days so far Sometimes we get interrupted Mike's 2519 Daily 2519 Podcast Did you know we're on Pandora now? Yeah! How the heck did that happen? I'm on Pandora and I'm in Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, T- Mont. Podcastro Valley, Mont, the last place on earth. How do you adjust to this whole thing with the darker earlier? That is so. It's amazing. Now we just don't have. And then right around this time uh, to, that we're adjusting to the new time to darker earlier. Uh, we are also asked to make a very important decision at the ballot box. (sighs) There's a lot thrown on us that we have to do all of a sudden. It's very trying time. So give yourself a break. Don't overwork yourself. Here are some tips. Stay up later, it says. The transition in the fall is like a trip to Vegas rather than the more painful return to the east. If you don't want to fall asleep an hour earlier post changing the daylight time, staying up a bit later a day or two before the time shift can happen. Well, that doesn't help us anymore. Take advantage of the sun. Well, that doesn't happen. Well, yeah, I guess enjoy it while it's out there. Schedule a 30 minute walk. And here's today's podcast picture. Before sunset. Speaking of sunset, I think we will have another sun... Well, we had a sunset picture last time. I don't know. It'll be scenic, whatever it is. See it at mikesdailypodcast.com. As the days get darker faster, you might find yourself feeling hungrier earlier. It is important to fight the urge to eat your last meal of the day super early, which may make you get sleepy sooner than you'd like or cause you to snack later, which can inhibit sleep. Your circadian rhythm deeply affects your body's ability to effectively metabolize food. People produce melatonin at night, which reduces insulin release and subsequently the, the ability to regulate blood sugar. I burned a lot of sugar, a lot of calories walking this guy, the late great Basil the Boxer, here at Cafe Anyway. If, <laughs> I remember this recording of him barking was... There were these bats flying around. It was about this time of year. He was on a walk. And there are all these cool places in Podcastro Valley where you can let your dog run around free. And there in the, in the just the, the dusk, there were all these bats flying around in the Bay Area, in the East Bay. If you don't want to disrupt... Yeah, because it's like, it's like Gotham City. If you don't want to disrupt your schedule, keep to your earlier meal time rather than allowing it to shift an hour earlier. Don't shift your other nighttime routines. For example, keep your nightly shower and your skincare regimen and wind down time, even if you're sleepy an hour earlier due to the time shift. Fight it. I don't take showers at night. I used to. When I used to have to get up at four in the morning, I would shower the night before. And I liked it because you're, you're all warm and clean and you get in your, in your sheets that are hopefully clean. And then you wake up super early and you're like, ah. And it also says if you, if the, it's a, it might be a good time to invest in blackout shades or curtains. If you want to be fancy, consider smart shades, which can raise or lower on a schedule. Even a sleep mask can help. All sleep masks. My lovely lady friend is using sleep masks like crazy. Embrace hibernation if all else fails. According to the New York Times.com in their wire cutter section. 
So, absent a lot of voting happening tomorrow, as I mentioned earlier, because of the time change, we got to make these huge, crazy decisions that'll affect all of our lives. So, what perfect time to do it then, right after getting through the time change? Absentee voting methods are safe and legal in most states, according to fact checkers. This on Twitter, which you know is true. <laughs> Because Elon Musk took it over. Claims of widespread voter fraud around mail-in voting and other forms of absentee balloting. And he, by the way, didn't he say today you should vote Republican? Elon? According to Reuters, the Associated Press and election experts say that absentee balloting... Oh, the claims of widespread voter fraud are unfounded around mail-in voting and other forms of absentee balloting. Routine methods and the decentralized nature of U.S. elections make it very hard to interfere with mail ballots. I dropped mine off in a, a ballot box that we have in Podcaster Valley at the library. I did that on Saturday night. That's what I did on my Saturday night, so I guess that makes it all right. An expert on security from Columbia University says increased security measures have brought the integrity of mail-in ballots to levels very close to those of in-person ballots while also considering increasing availability. Hey, at some point, we're going to just vote from home on a computer. You know how that is, how the way of things are going. You do so much now from home. You used to have to, when you went to see the doctor, you'd have to actually physically be there with the doctor, which I still do, but a lot of people do telehealth. Claims that mail-in voting has caused widespread voter fraud in the past are unsubstantial, according to Reuters. And saying all that will probably get me banned on YouTube, even though I didn't say anything that YouTube usually... They, they ban you when you say stuff about voting, that it's all rigged, rigged elections. But... I'm not saying that YouTube actually listened to the podcast for a change. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Mont, the last place on earth. Today is going to be a short show. I got a lot going on today. I just took this little break to do this here podcast. But I'm training people and I'm working with people and I, I, I just I got to get back to that. But right now we're outside a cafe anyway. We're sprinkling a little bit. Look who's here. Hello, Mark Matthews. It's Jolly and Hugh Hart's Kid Shop Supervisor. I love this time of year because I love to drink pumpkin lattes, Mike Matthews. Yes, they're so delicious, pumpkin lattes. Even though there's like not an ounce of real pumpkin anything in them. But I guess if there was, if there was pumpkin chunks, that might be a little suspect. Oh, that'd be disgusting, Mike Matthews. And look who else is here. Oh, Mike, this is Floyd the Floorman. And this is John Deere, the engineer. Mike, that's really sad that you're not going to do the thingy where you play like an old piece of your uh, career in radio. All right. Do you really want me to? Let's see. Let's see if this will allow me to do that. I'm just like I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm super busy today outside a cafe anyway. Plus... Everything's wet with the rain and whatnot. So maybe we don't want to do that. But first, let's do the Mike Matthews New Tunes feud. We'll start with that. Maddie Diaz. I have enjoyed her since I discovered her when I went to a concert. Ah, the something something of Manitoba. They, they, I interviewed them. They're on my website, mikesdailypodcast.com in the interview section. Just look up something Manitoba. And you'll you'll hear them. Shoot. Sorry, Manitoba people. I don't remember the name of your band. But I got this Maddie Diaz open for them. And this is what her latest sounds like. All right. Yeah, she's very acoustic sounding. And do you like her better or do you like Una Rose? Or is it Una Rose? All 
right, that's called myth between. Fascinating. All right. Well, you know, we're not going to do the thing with the mic uh, when I play stuff from eons ago. We'll do that next show. How about that? And with, oh, yeah. Tell me which songs you like better. Did you like the Maddie Diaz or the Una Rose? Both fantastic names. Let me know which one you like better. 336 MM Daily. 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM as in Mike Matthews. Daily as in what this podcast is. And with more ways to reach me, it's A Frame. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.